currently, I'm in the middle of building a scrap wagon that's made out of all scrap wood. I'm trying to keep the cost down to nil if I can, but I may have to buy some hardware like a couple extra screws and some bolts as the axles. But right now I have this piece of wood, and this used to be the side of a waterbed. It's a two inch piece of wood by nine inches and of course about six foot long, but the length doesn't matter. So these are the perfect pieces of wood that I need to make wheels out of. Now I, I want to turn this, this piece of wood, into this, my eight inch wheel. And I didn't have AutoCAD loaded on my computer at the time, but when I did, it didn't work. Because normally I would make a template, print it out, and lay it right here, and glue it down, and then I would go work off of that, and I would have the exact center. But I didn't have it. It wasn't working right. I downloaded free, freeware CAD stuff, and it didn't work right either. It just wasn't printing off and wasn't giving me my exact centers. It gave me something like this. As you can see, the wheels are all a little bit off and everything. So I had to think Greek or Roman. They didn't have AutoCAD. How do they make a perfect circle? Okay, what we're going to do here is we are going to make an 8 inch circle in this 9 inch square right here and we're going to use a 6 inch rectangle, a pencil, a ruler and a screw, a drill with a drill bit and a drill with a driving bit. We're going to measure this piece of wood, we're going to divide it down the center and then we're going to take an inch off of each side. And we're going to use a ruler and a pencil for this. As you can see, I went ahead and drew the dimensions on. This is a one and a half inch wide piece of wood by six inches. I, take an, I divide down the center three quarters of an inch and then take an inch off of each end. That gives me a four inch space here in the center. Now, I also need to find the exact center of my 9 inch square. So I'll turn the camera off for a minute, draw the dimensions, and turn it back on. Okay, now I've drawn my dimensions. I found the exact center of my 9 inch square. So basically I have a 4.5 inch square here, 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 and here. Now what I need to do is drill my holes. I'm going to drill one hole right in the center of this X and one right in the center of here. Now that I have my holes drilled, it's now a jig. So I also need to drill just a pilot hole, so I switched uh, drill bits. And even though this is really soft wood, we'll go ahead and put this one in. So there I have one hole in the dead center. So now I'm going to take my six inch wooden block, place one hole over the other. Then I'm going to take my screw, insert it into one, down into the other, grab my drill, drive that screw down a little bit. It doesn't have to be tight. You don't want it tight. Now i got to grab my pencil. Take my pencil, put it in the other hole. Hopefully the lid is long enough. Draw around. Spiral gyro. 8 inch jig. Circle jig, that is. So as you can see, I have my wheel now. So now I just need to cut it out. Pretty simple. Carry on a little further from my four inch jig here. I decided I could have used the ruler, I could have drilled holes in it, but I didn't have the exact center and I wanted everything to be squared up. So I still need one of these, but I want something that looks a little nicer. So I went over to Hobby Lobby, uh, some places might not have it, it's like a Michael, it's a big hobby store. And I got a grid ruler, it's plastic, cheap, it was like two or three bucks. And what I'm going to do is just drill a hole in every inch right down the center. So the lines are already marked perfect for me. 
then I will have a nice, large jig compass.